Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. A little wind whipped, uh, so this will probably be interfering with this rant. It is Tuesday, March 18th, 2014. So Tuesday morning is the day I bring you my weekly wacky conspiracy theory Tuesday rant where uh, I search around for what the these wacko conspiracy theories are up to this week but unfortunately guys the conspiracy everyone on the planet has become a conspiracy theorist this week and the only subject that anybody wants to talk about whether or not they're a goddamn conspiracy theorist is what happened to that airplane which I talked about one week ago today and uh, despite the fact that there's about this much more information on that airplane there's about this much more of this unadulterated horseshit uh, conspiracy theory A to Z and I just refuse to talk about it. I, I said everything I needed to say about that goddamn airplane. Uh, so there's really not much left over uh, since that's it. That's the one story. I guess I could, I could wrap up this rant here. So uh, with pretty much in desperation... I went over there to my old buddy at Veterans Today. But anyway, guys, no, wait a minute. I did find, I, I did find one small article. I'll just, there's not really many dots, I don't think, connecting these two stories. But uh, before I get into the secret space war, uh, let's go over there to the mainstream media. I mentioned this one from the... Uh, French news service AFP right here in the mainstream media <clears throat> although that this story will make zero difference to these head up their ass planet Nibiru planet X morons right here in the mainstream media planet X myth debunked okay as if we need any uh, legitimate scientist looking into the mystery of planet X and uh, or I guess they kind of threw in planet X and that uh, second sun uh, anywho uh, so they're talk about you know this and, and they say that this wacko theory goes back 200 years according to this mainstream report uh, there is just one problem with with there there's only one problem with all of this crap about planet Nibiru and the second Sun neither planet X nor Nemesis, I guess that might be the name of the, the the other star. Neither Planet X nor Nemesis ever existed. Researchers now say, and then they're having some fun with this, or probably not. Okay, so this is University of Pennsylvania astronomer Kevin Lumen, who directed the study looking for these uh, missing planets and stars using NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Telescope. And this is his conclusion, quote, the outer solar system probably does not contain a large gas giant planet, planet X, or a small companion star, parentheses, nemesis, 
Okay. And anywho, guys, it uh it breaks all this down for anybody. Uh what are the chances? Okay. After this latest survey, Lumen said the odds of finding uh, one of these planets or stars, quote, that is like a one in a hundred chance. Okay. Yet, Planet X believers still not convinced. You know, they go over, they break down all of the science behind uh, the behind this horse shit. There is nothing, nothing to back up these these morons' claims. So as uh, as they're so fond of doing, they just completely discard the scientists on the government dole, blah, blah, blah. And as, as long as I'm on this, uh, I don't do many of these Planet and the Biru rants. But for anyone who has not heard my former rants, just, just anyone out there suffering some delusion that Zechariah Sitchin, who's a great guy, that Zechariah Sitchin ever promoted the planet Nibiru theory. Uh, pull your head out of your ass, uh, I mean assuming you're able to without bumping into that missing airplane lodged in your rectum. Uh, if, if you're suffering from some delusion that Zechariah Sitchin ever uh, was warning about planet Nibiru, let, let me relieve you of that myth as well. Uh, you know, e even if you, as, as Sitchin said himself, even uh, if you did the math of these ancient Sumerians that, well, I'm trying to think, it's going to be at least 900 years uh, from now. It, it, it comes around every 3,600 years. Well, by looking at these tablets, there's still about 900 years to go before it will be anywhere on the radar. Uh, anyway, as long as we're, we are uh, up there with NASA telescopes searching space for unadulterated horseshit, what is my buddy Preston James PhD uh, blogging about this week on his uh, oddly named blog Veterans Today. Uh, this is an update, was it, I believe from two weeks ago about the latest in the secret space war. Tall white Nordics call Marduk's Bluff and I'll put the link on this. This is a long involved uh, story. I'm going to read the first few and the last few. Uh, let me just read the first four paragraphs. Okay. Last December 2013, 91 world leaders attended Nelson Mandela's so-called funeral. At the time, this seems somewhat strange. Well, let's see. Uh, they're talking. He's talking about how all of these leaders were did not attend Mandela's funeral. Let's see. Putin was not there. The top leaders of China were not there. The top leaders of Israel were not there. I think I even recall that the Dalai Lama was not granted a visa. Okay, so why was all this? It turns out that Nelson Mandela actually died many months earlier than the date of his funeral. 
many months earlier that Mandela was dead. Uh, uh, of course, we have plenty of, uh, uh, of videos, photos, everything else uh, of Nelson Mandela right up to the day he died. But uh, no, no, no. Nelson Mandela actually died many months before his funeral. And it has been alleged by insiders that this so-called funeral was actually a cover. It was a cover story. And what was it cover? What was it a cover for? It was a cover for the secret crowning ceremony of Marduk, the alien ET leader believed to be the head Draco. Now, I defined the Dracos a lot deeper a couple of weeks ago. If you want to know who the, uh, the, the Draco, but anyway, real quickly, the Dracos are shape-shifting interdimensional lizard beings, evil to the core and thrive on promoting human suffering and mass painful deaths of humans. That's who the Dracos are and their leader Marduk has now been crowned something. Okay, so who is this Marduk guy? It is believed by some that Marduk was driven away from planet Earth during earlier times by a major Earth catastrophe or as a direct judgment of God Almighty. Others believe that another alien ET leader from the tall white Nordics forced him to leave in some kind of major cosmic warfare victory. Anywho, guys, this goes on for page after page. I see that all Preston James has not been shirking his duties to make his name as one of the single biggest wackos on this planet. But let me jump down to the bottom. Let's get to the conclusions. So I've just, uh, I just skipped over about 90% of this unadulterated horseshit uh, to his conclusions. Okay. Only time will tell where this is all going. Yes, it will. But it appears that a major world conflict is brewing between those nation states controlled by the Dracos and their Zionist cutouts, which I believe includes the United States, although don't quote me on that, I believe that includes the U.S., and those nation states no longer under the evil grip of Marduk and the Dracos. That sounds like a great name for a rock band, as Dave Barry would say. Marduk and the Dracos. Okay, it is difficult to get a good handle on all this due to the extreme compartmenting and so-called national security aspects. About the best we can do for now is speculate. Sounds like uh, sounds like these people looking for a missing plane, but not looking up inside their own rectum. About the best we can do for now is speculate using the various leaks from inside the space war system that have occurred. I would certainly like it if none of these claims about alien ETs were true. However, there is a large body of overwhelming evidence from very reliable, credible, retired military and intel sources which suggest 
otherwise. One thing is for certain. Okay, this is the one thing that you can take to the bank. All state-based secrecy, including cryptographics, is ending. And the process is well underway thanks to the advent of interdimensional, multidimensional, new zero point or near zero point quantum computers. All physics text will have to be completely rewritten because they are currently wrong, very wrong, about many things. There you go. That is what is on the minds of the space alien wackos who aren't exactly conspiracy theorists, but I put them all in the same uh, in the same bank. I have completely lost my cursor in the bright sun, which is a good thing because that gives me no more excuse to continue with this unadulterated horse shit. And this will wrap up this week's Conspiracy Wacko Tuesday. Go back to looking for your missing airplane now. I suggest a, perhaps a colonoscopy will help you find your missing airplane if you are one of these goddamn boring ass windbags who, who have such a puny, empty little life that you have nothing better to do with yourself or to do with your brain than wonder where some goddamn missing airplane that has nothing to do with you or anything going on on this planet, that is your choice. Bye, guys.